Hello, hello, Lisa Shiro from K Counseling coming to you today to talk about excoriation. So I am a mental health expert and I specialize in the treatment of anxiety disorders here in beautiful Boise, Boise, Idaho. And today I'm going to talk to you about one, one of the anxiety disorders that tend to that tends to cause a lot of shame is called excoriation. So what in the world is it? So I actually have a DSM definition for what it is, but it's really a picking disorder where a person picks at their lesions. And so I'm just reading off to you what the DSM says. Repetitive skin picking of one's own skin that results in lesions. Many individuals will experience shame about this behavior and or attempt to conceal the resulting lesions with clothing or makeup. So, there's three symptoms we tend to see. Skin picking that produces lesions, that's number one. Repeated attempts to reduce or eliminate the skin picking beha behavior, that's two. And then the third symptom is the skin picking leads to reduced or impaired social or professional function. Put that, put that DSM away. So what do we do about it? Uh, skin picking, this can cause a great deal of shame. So sometimes when a person comes in to see me and I notice that maybe they have their sleeves down really far, or maybe they're wearing a turtleneck and it's, you know, 100 degrees outside. So when I tend to notice these things, I will address it. And if excoriation is what I'm treating, one of the best ways I have found to treat a disorder, an anxiety disorder such as excoriation, is to simply what we call habit reversal treatment or habit reversal therapy. Some call it HRT, habit reversal therapy. Works quite well um, as it, uh, as it ex exhausts the brain from t finding an alternative thing to do. For example, if a person has um, excoriation where they keep, um, let's say they are picking a place on their neck and they just kind of work at it and work at it until it starts forming a scab. Um, and if it's, um, if it's causing problems and now they're having to wear their hair over this way or cover it up uh, with, their, with their shirt. Um, and while excoriation on the neck is not all that common, um, nothing's, I've seen everything, so I wouldn't doubt there's, there's somebody out there doing excoriation on their neck. And it's just that constant digging. It really does begin to affect things like relationships and even work because if they can't cover it up, they're always very, very hyper aware of it. And so habit reversal therapy, I might have them over the course of time, every time they feel, because usually there's a little bit of a, like a tingling sensation where they want to reach up to it. I'll have them reach up instead and maybe brush their hair or have them grab a part of their ear. And so when I'm recommending that and working with somebody, I'll have them going to track these behaviors and we'll keep practicing it. Um, a lot of times people will say, well, wait a minute, Lisa, isn't that just going to cause like an, uh, a, a ear pulling disorder like that's what I'm going to do no that's not the way the brain works we're trying to exhaust the brain because every time you reach up the brain is associated you with excoriation sometimes with anxiety reduction so we want that to we want that cycle to break and guys this takes it it takes a quite a while actually I almost said a long time but it's different for everybody but it takes s several weeks almost always to calm that down and so sometimes I will also couple that with EMDR therapy uh, during treatment um, or use alpha stimulation um, but that is true cognitive behavioral therapy is that habit reversal treatment where they're reaching up and doing an alternative um, action over and over and over and people will mess up because we're messy human beings but that's okay we can mess up and just get back on track again. I hope this answers some questions for you today. I get a lot of questions about excoriation disorder. Um, it is considered one of the um, anxiety disorders. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share it. Be sure and subscribe so you get more information about anxiety disorders in the future, um, including shame busters, stress busters, etc. I'm Lisa Shiro and I get to help people who feel stuck say no to their inner critic and yes to their inner rock star. I hope you loved this today.